this is legitimately home food. Yeah. Like, this is what you'd make at home yeah. and eat with rice and a few side dishes yeah. that you've had in the fridge for a couple weeks. Yo, Korean food. And I'm not talking about Korean fried chicken or Korean barbecue. Today we're going to visit a restaurant that does really traditional Korean foods and we're talking things like fried fish and braised beef short ribs and lots and lots of banchan which is side dishes. If that sounds like something you're interested in, keep watching. If you're new to the channel, my name's Sydney Food Boy and we go on food adventures around Sydney every single week. If that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button down below for me and hit the notification bell so you see every single time I upload a video. I can't wait to have you guys join the food adventure. Alright, let's go. by Mama Park, so that's our mum. We actually used to have a barbecue restaurant just around the corner from where we were for about seven years and you know because of COVID we've had to move and we've just recently gone to Dutch in December. It's traditional Korean food, authentic food that both Christina and I grew up eating. In Korea we have a saying called Omma Sonmak which means you know food um, that's made by mum and then tastes like mum's hand as well. Um, and that's what we're about, just authentic Korean food, uh, traditional food. It's really about uh, the real traditional base flavours. Stock made the old school way, you know, brewed over like 20 hours, 30 hours. She makes her own chilli sauces, kimchi of course. The dumplings, yeah. and chunks fresh every morning. And it's basically all the foods that we ate growing up. So all the foods that we had at home, we've brought it into the restaurant. We haven't changed the recipes at all. It's just home cooked, healthy, good food. Yeah, and recipes that actually my mom learned by, from her grandma. And then what she tells us is that, you know, obviously then it's been passed down. So it's also food that she grew up eating. Yeah. We've become really well known for mom's kanjang gejang and yangnyum gejang, which is uh, raw soy crab and also marinated spicy crab. Also soups like our pork hangover soup is done really the old school way. Um, and, you know, spicy intestine soup, but also other things. Yeah, chicken ginseng soup. You know, a lot of um, the older generation Koreans come because they actually want to eat my mom's fish. So things like salted flour dough, salted mackerel. Oh, oh man. man! And I'll just introduce you quickly to Mum. Mum, say hi. Mm. Hi. hi. <laughs> she has no idea what's Mama happening. Mama Park. Mama Park. There you go. So Gina and Christina have invited me to eat lunch with some of the staff members, and they're eating like this mandu dumpling and rice cake soup. It's really tasty, so let's go have a try. After that, we're gonna order some really traditional dishes. I'm gonna let them choose what to eat, and we'll eat it all together. We'll have a chat. Uh, we're eating rice cake and Mama Park's homemade dumpling soup. This is tradition, so it's what we need. Apparently, if you have rice cakes on New Year's Day, it gives you another year of life. Really? Oh, I hit me up with all the rice cakes. Then. So you're meant to eat a full bowl. There you go. For help, some sauce if you need for your dumplings. Okay. And these massive ones mum makes by hand. Damn. And the broth is mum's like bone soup. Bone soup? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds really nice. Yeah. Soup some? Yeah. So this is good health. Mm -hmm. Health and good luck, prosperity. Yeah. yeah. All those things. Happy Lunar New Year. Happy Lunar New Year. So you guys are celebrating Korean. We do, we do. Yeah. But I don't think we celebrate it as much as other Chinese. Southeast Asian yeah. Like in Korea they do. Oh, this is really nice. Right? Mm. I love the texture of rice cake. Yeah. Oh, nice bomb, man. Yeah. Go have a good kimchi. Let's try this dumpling. It's like a mandu. Mm -hmm. a bit of mandu? Mm -hmm. um, so mandu on steroids because it's so big. Mum puts a lot of filling in it. Yeah, I really like the soup. Yeah. yeah. So what's the soup again? What's the bone broth? Yeah, it's like a bone broth. You use like a beef, yep. um, make a broth, and yep. then you add in like your rice cakes and all the starch comes out and thickens it a little bit. Egg, Eggs. seaweed, um, spring onions which Koreans love, put in everything. And black pepper, and a bit of sesame oil. I like that. Yeah, it's good. I haven't eaten too many mandus actually. It's been like, for me, 
always been into like planes and memos and all that, like Me too. Memos, but Mandy not so much. This is the green rice cake. It's really more. Mm -hmm. It's really tasty. That's what I found. Yeah. When I was in Korea, it was like really Korean expensive. barbecue, the same price. Yeah, 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 exactly. Which is really expensive. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. Do you think the quality of beef would be better from Australia? Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I found that when I was in Seoul, anywhere around Korea, really, when we were eating Korean barbecue, yeah, we could have gotten the same quality in Australia. Like yeah. we were, we were saying to each other the whole time, you know, like. Eating Korean barbecue in Stratfield East, so it tastes the same. Yeah. No, yeah, it's yes. actually probably and better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's why a lot of Koreans they eat pork. Yeah. Pork and chicken. Pork is like the national, like, yeah. yeah. It's easily accessible. Yeah, pork belly is cheap, everyone can enjoy it. Yeah. Kalbi? Kalbi Jim. Kalbi Jim? Yeah, mm -hmm. Jim is like stew. And the way they were making this, it was like, you could see the, the meat simmered in the sauces and it sort of soaks up all the flavors. Kibbutz, radish, radish, carrot, um, and then just put jujube in it. Asian date. Yeah. Oh, like I love that. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like in the like marinade. Kind in the marinade. Stuff. Yeah. I really like it because um, with the sauce, the marinade is really complex. Mm, yeah. There's a lot of different flavors that go in. But, but it yeah. works. It works. And then mum puts a little bit of chili mm. as well. There's a Good chili version of this too, so I really read like a spicy version of yeah. it. Yeah. So this is a normal version and then we've got a really yeah. spicy version of it. This is the perfect bite. 
Another thing this restaurant is known for is their side dishes or their banchan. Um, and in Korea, what's banchan? Banchan is side dishes. That's all I know it as. Yeah. I don't think it means anything else but side dishes. It just means condiments to eat with your food. It's not a meal in itself, it should always complement what you're eating. Yeah. In saying that, though, I used to go to Korean restaurants and just bought a bunch of rice and I, I used to love and it. And it's so good, isn't it? So well, good. But when you're not used to it, I think Koreans like a lot of variety. Even me as an eater, like, as when I go and eat something, I can't go to a restaurant and just order one dish. Yeah. I need to have, I need to share. Yeah. It's yeah. like the different types of flavors, it's um, cleansing your palate with the kimchi, with the pickles, yeah. and then going in for another flavorful, yeah. a different flavor in your mouth. I think it's just like a trial and error of what you like. Yeah, that's the cool thing with banchan too, because like, you get a variety of yeah. everything, you know, it might be spicy, uh -huh. it might be sweet. But there's so, so like many the things to try. The sweet potato. Come yeah. get Jordi. <laughs> no, it's potato. Potato? Yeah, it's potato and carrot mm. and onion mm -hmm. with soy and sesame, I believe. Yeah. So this one's pumpkin. Popa. Auntie grew the pumpkin. Okay. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. You know, home produce and then it gets eaten at the restaurant. I know. Oh, oh. Do you like it? Yeah. This one's a really interesting one. It's apparently a part of seaweed. So it's from the ocean in the water. Yeah. It's part of a seaweed. I think it must be like the off sides that people don't usually eat. Right. And then she's put it in like a, a sauce. And this is actually surprisingly one of the most popular side dishes that people ask for refills. This one? I, yeah, I, I had never tasted it before. Mm. Interesting, huh? Yeah. And when we think it's like a mayo, a wasabi mayo. Yeah, wasabi mayo. Mm -hmm. Crunchy, it's like a crunchy noodle, yeah, it's crunchy. you know it's not a noodle. <laughs> it's a vegetable. I was naughty, man. Just I just had the panchan and the yeah, rice. Yeah, dishes and it was like half gone by the time the food comes out in the first place. You're yeah. like, oh, sorry, can we get some more? We call it dilgun ui, which means yeah. old cucumber, but it's not old. It's they're not just old. really big ones. Yeah, they're an Asian cucumber. Big cucumber. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that, I like everything. Mm. This one's my personal favorite. Spinach. I think spinach goes really well with the. You guys put like garlic and sesame and all that. Mm -hmm. And chili. Some chili. Chili powder. It's a little bit of mm -hmm. soybean in there. Yeah. The spinach, like the way they do it at most restaurants, but particularly this restaurant, it's not soggy. You know, you still get a bit of crunch to it. So I really like that. It's sort of like wilted but crunchy at the same yeah. time. Yeah. There's nothing worse than soft, soggy spinach. Yeah. <laughs> That just Mom, turns yeah. into mush in your mouth. Because that, so it's like quickly blanched and then yeah. cold water, and she literally rinses it like she's rinsing a rag. Mm. Right. Yeah, you get all the like so yeah, cold. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. And it's so cool. It looks like it's just falling off the bone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> By the way guys, Dina's just over there and she's just chilling. <laughs> That's why there's a random hand popping out of nowhere. I actually really like the fish. Mm. It's like a Good fried fish, like, you know, in Chinese style you eat fried fish. Mm. And there's like garlic, chili, mm -hmm. onions, all that business. Yeah. Like, with this one you get a bit of a chili mm -hmm. sauce. Yeah. There's obviously some sort of marinade on top of the fish, yeah. which gives it a really nice flavor. Yeah. People also have it without the marinade, so yeah. it's an option to have it on its own or with the marinade. Yeah. yeah. Even without the marinade, it's really good. It's salty. So salty and delicious. Yeah. You can, I could honestly eat it with just the fish, a bowl yeah. of rice, and some kimchi, yeah. and that would be the perfect meal. I'd like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Christina just got back from Melbourne, where she was living, and she's been in lockdown for like six months. Almost. Five, six months, and she couldn't go out to buy food or anything like that. No. <laughs> so I worked on my Korean culinary skills. Mum doesn't use measurements, so it was really hard over the phone to get learn to learn from her. Right. I would ask her how much water do I put in. She goes, "You'll you'll figure it. You'll know. It. You'll figure it out." I said, "Oh, I know." Be like, "Okay, can you just give me an example, like a cup? You know, like give me something." Mm. She's like, "Oh, no, you'll know." So I went on to Google and I'd get a rough estimate, and yeah. then I would just do it by taste. So I taste it, see if it it's tasted familiar, and then go from there. And taste so my memory is. Like they never use, they never use measuring cups. Yeah. Hey, mukbang's a Korean word, eh? Mm, yeah, I said mukbang to my mum the other day. She was like, what? She's like, mukbang. Mukbang is like, oh, like bowl of just eating, pang is yeah. room. 
So eating oh, room. Eating room. Oh, is that what it is? Eating room. <laughs> Bobopang. It's like Bobopang. Oh. Eating room. Eating room. I always wondered what that was. <laughs> Oh, this is really nice, man. Really? Yeah. I think the restaurant like Hangang yeah. is really cool. You guys showcase more than just K barbecue. So K barbecue is just something you know you have to do and it's part of it. But then we always have this other stuff. That's what I mean. Yeah. This is legitimately home food. Yeah. Like this is what you'd make at home yeah. and eat with rice and a few side dishes yeah. that you've had in the fridge for a couple weeks. Yeah. Like my mum is that cool that we get all the older Koreans coming and then yeah. they come because they're like better than how to cook it. Oh. Like, and it's crazy, like so like you get flounder rice sides for $17. Asian food is like ridiculously underpriced. So yeah, but that's this, a yeah. topic for another video. Yeah. 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 For the it's amount of work put in. They don't yeah. realise how much work and yeah. love that has to go into yeah. each side dish, each yeah. dish oh that comes out that people eat. Yeah. Every step of the process mm -hmm. is something. This is a fish head, a flounder head, which apparently is the best part you pick at it. Yeah. I've actually never eaten the head of a fish before. Yeah. Would you believe it? You just took the meaty bits, take the bones out, you know. Yeah. Two bits. It's the best. Does a flounder have cheeks too? Because now they say the cheek of a fish is the yeah, best part. Yeah, cheeks there somewhere. Yeah, this fish has a really nice flavour, man. Mm. It's like mm. salty, mm -hmm. but sweet. Spicy. A bit spicy. Did they get it? Just yeah. throw them. Yeah. Scale it. Put it in salted brine water, and even yeah. the brine water, they don't throw it out. Even for the kimchi, if you use, you know how it's like master stock, is that what they say? Yeah, so we have like master There's brine. zero wastage. Yeah, oh. so then the next, the brine is used for the next, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah so it just gets better. I hope you enjoyed today's run through of some really traditional Korean foods that you probably won't find it in most other restaurants in Sydney. Mm -hmm. I think it's really cool stuff, so definitely come down, try it. Try the flounder, try the. Kaibi Jim. Double Braised gym. beef ribs. Yeah. Or well, there's like a heap of different things on this menu. The other things that they do really, really well and are very well known for in the Korean community are raw marinated soy crab and chili crab and soy prawns as well. So I've tried it myself and it's really good as well. So definitely come down and try that as well. And of course, thank you again for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the subscribe button down below. Give the video a like. Comment down what you would like to try and if you have come and tried it. I'd really love to know and I always read all your comments. So thank you so much for watching. See ya. Bye.